Sonny Fai's family and some legends of rugby league paid tribute today to the 20-year-old who was set to be the Warriors' next big star. It's been over two months since Fai drowned at Bethel's Beach while trying to save his brother from a rip. But while there's been no sign of his body, the Warriors say his memory is an important part of their training. Melissa Davies reports. For the first time in 10 weeks, Sonny Fine's family said they finally felt he was back with them in the church. They said they felt his presence and told him how proud they were of his successful but short life. My husband, if you're up there listening to me, bro, I miss you so much. But it was not just the Fai family with a message for Sonny. Sonny, I'll never forget you. Your conversations, your smile. Fai wrote in his diary that Wiki was his idol, the ultimate warrior, and the carver loving friends formed a close bond. Lofungamoi, your big brother, the carver king. The Warriors will wear Fai's signature on their jersey this season, but teammate Jerome Roparty says the team huddle before each game is now broken. We leave a gap for Sunny there now. It's broken physically, and we owe it to him. Fai's manager revealed he had been saving money to buy a house for his family this year and to marry his girlfriend, Jenna Frost. He was not only a, he was not only a partner to me, but he was also my best friend. He watches me. Fai's cousin Rosita Vai performed and two packed rooms joined together to laugh and cry over their memories. But most of all, they spoke of the superstar he was set to become. To this day, the Fai family still visit Bethel's Beach in the hope that Sunny Fai's body will come back to them. Tomorrow they will return there to send their goodbyes out to sea and they invite the public to join them in a celebration of his life from 4pm. A life that was accustomed to doing things early. Sonny Fai was just 14 when he signed up to the Warriors, but just 20 when he died. Melissa Davies, 3 News.